this is just calling this is um I know it's been a while since I made a on camera video but anyway I just like to welcome anybody that is in my channel welcome to my channel whether you just stumble across my channel whether friend or foe sent you welcome to my channel but you'll get is a lot of randomness news comedy and whatever I could think of right now I just want to talk about some like random subjects I'm trying to keep it very short um I was thinking about the show I watched several years back called Soul Food the series and it was a part where Bird was pregnant again you know by them and she was contemplating whether to keep the baby or not. And then eventually she got an abortion. And up to this day, I never could understand that if you're married and you're happy, even if you're slightly struggling and your husband really cares for you and wants you to keep the baby, why would you want to get an abortion under the guise of, this is my body, I do what I want. And there's consequences when you do things like that. If people really know what goes behind abortions I don't think it, it will be a lot as many as it is today but um because you never know what those doctors really do with those embryos you don't know what they're doing with your DNA you know it's, you know samples from the dead embryos or whatever like that you don't know if they're doing some experiments or it's cloning going around now you don't know if it's a whole bunch of mini U's running around. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, I think about things like that sometimes. But, I never really could understand that. I mean, her husband truly loves her, but yet she chose to get an abortion anyway. And then turned around, what, a year or two later and got pregnant and had the baby. That defeats the purpose. So... Yeah, it was this like the news circulating about Paula Dean, that that famous cook, how she used the N word or whatever like that. I didn't really hear um read the whole article. I heard bits and pieces about it, but August and then she apologized. She came, she did a YouTube video and apologized, and I believe they the Food Network fired her. You know. All I could say is, I mean, that that really sh shouldn't really surprise anybody. I mean, she just showed the true nature <clears throat> of how she really felt, you know. And it shows her upbringing. So, I mean, it's, it's, it, the apology is she's sorry that she said it out loud, you know how she really felt or is she truly truly sorry because now she's fired I don't know maybe that's why she apologized but don't apologize for who you are that's all I gotta say on that note don't apologize for who you are if that's how you feel that's how you feel about us it is what it is there's a brother on here on YouTube that I listen to and he told his testimony about, you know, why he left the church. He, well, actually, the church actually broke up his marriage because it was like the women in the church, including his wife, they they practically worship the bishop. Yeah, they worship him and, and think he's God. And eventually, they convince her to leave her own husband. So they're not married anymore because of that. But I notice there's a lot of women in these churches. And it's like even some of even the men, they treat these bishops like they're God. And then when you point that out, the bishops get mad at you and want to call you a heathen and say you out of the will and you're a demon. When in reality, you're not supposed to 
worship no man. You know, not even a bishop, not even a prophet. You know, not so you're not even supposed to worship angels. So I would look out for things like that if you know, cause, cause that's how cults are born. Remember Jim Jones? If you don't know about Jim Jones and I ain't talk about the rapper, look him up. That's how it starts and that's how it finishes. So <laughs> be aware of that of idol worshiping in the church. Or she mean these bishops, these pastors, you know. If you're paying the bishops rent or mortgage and car note and and I've seen and witnessed this, this happening at one point or a few points. Bishop need this. You have to drop everything and do everything for that bishop. But you behind on rent, you asked out in a cold. Or you get your car repulled because bishop need a new robe. You know, things like that. That's just not right. And I don't believe that's God's will. So, yes. I want to talk about ratchet black folks in public areas, whether customer service, whether shopping, food markets, on the streets. I mean, what happened to common courtesy? And then it's like, well, some of them, some of them try to use courtesy. Is is they always doing some it's some type of stupid agenda behind it. Like if I'm trying to get through an aisle and okay, you talking to your friend or somebody you know, why would you block the aisle? And why would you not move for that person? You you'll just sit there and then look at the person and try to get by like you dare them to say something to you. Why why these people are so intense or so ready to fight I don't know if it's something in the water something in the we wig glue or whatever or the perms that cause these people especially women because there's more of women out here than men that do these things it's like if somebody need to go by get by and they say excuse me move move out the way practice some common courtesy you know, just move, move out the way, make room for that person. Why would you want them to brush up on you so you can fight? Why people are so ready to fight? Calm your ass down. You know what I'm saying? They didn't fuck up your life. You fucked your own life up. Moving along. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about for right now. I think anything, I'll make another video. I'm out.